Welcome! I am finally able to say this. I am recording this game. I wanted to record it for like a long time, like years. I started it way back on my old recording method and it was just such a good game. Then I got it for PC, I played the, the main campaign. Because I just kind of want to start with the DLCs and see how the viewer, the viewer progression goes and uh, you know just finish the two, the two DLCs these teeth of narrows and uh, what's the other quest line Legend of Cadell that that cow that's the one we're gonna do now and then this is gonna be the next one this game is kind of like Skyrim but more in an MMO kind of way uh, it's kind of it came around the same time as uh, Skyrim did, but it never got a, as much atten attention as it did because the Skyrim hype was much more in that time. It's a shame because you know they would have had like a prequel and then like more games following up to this game. Well, of course, it didn't get enough buyers from for the game when you know because everybody was more into Skyrim then. So I guess it's kind of the blame, they kind of blame Bethesda that they went out of business and all that. I, I, I guess they went out of business, I'm not so sure though. Anyway, I love this game. It's a cool game. Um, story goes, you're this dude, you can make your own character as well. So you're this dude and you're dead. Uh, it's basically the, the main kind of story. So you're this dude, you're dead, you get brought back to life by the well of souls that the no that uh, one certain gnome invented. And there's this whole war going on. Uh, th th at the end you have to fight some evil monster. I'm not gonna spoil it in case I do one day record the main storyline. But uh, yeah. So basically you're a dude back from the dead and you have no fate. Faith, 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 faith. Uh, you're, you're faithless. Your fate is not set. You can live without fate. You can change people's fate. Uh, just uh, some people's fate you can change. The downtown to this game, there are no companions except for the quest related ones that kind of help out but don't really do much. The only companion you can get is with magic. Um, that's this character right here. You can summon like a skeleton guy on some. My character's class is a assassination or a, or a assassin mage or something like that. So it's specialized in magic and in knives and these things and those things and those are the weapons I use. If I do start a new game, after I'm completely done with the DLCs, I might do a uh, melee based character. So a character that has all the heavy weapons, because you do have those. I don't know if we got carry any now. You have scepters. I don't really like the scepters so though, they kinda... I just hold one, because the fire is useful to get spider webs. You have staves, 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 those are pretty fun sometimes. You have bows, uh, you have daggers, shackles, you have great swords, so these are like the heavy weapon stuff. And then you have great hammers. For some reason there are no great axes, there are no axes in the game. Still, pretty, pretty fun game. Armor, just armor. You can have a bunch of shields if you want. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go start this little quest. Ten uh, years. This I'm telling you, it's gonna be pretty fun. Though I am thinking because this. Because this game or this my character is level I don't even know what level it is. 
35, 36, almost 36. And this quest, you have to be level 10 plus. So I'm thinking if I start this quest now, I might there might be a possibility that every single enemy might be below, really below my level, which I didn't think about the first time I played the game, and not also didn't think about it now. Hello there. You look quite fit, quite able. Perhaps I'll have work for one so hearty as yourself. Also, there's no voice acting, so I guess I'm gonna have to read myself. I'm here about the job. Well, once you hear the details, I'm sure you will lose interest. Everyone else does. We of the Alpha Merchant Navy wish to hire a representative to track and kill the notorious pirate Dead Kell and his crew of murderous hanged men. Who's Dead Kell? They had many names for him during the Middle Kingdom's era. Ghost of the Frostbreak, the Blood Red Sail. Every captain and swab on the Frostbreak Sea feared for their lives when Kell raised his flag. Many widows were made in those days, my friend. Of course, that was centuries ago, before he was killed. Dead Kell is dead. Oh, yes. The Alfar Navy put an end to Dead Kell generations ago. They tracked him to his island hideaway and turned his ship to tinder. There were no survivors. Now you understand our predicament. What has he done? Our shipping and transport lanes are a gauntlet. Dead kill preys on our ships like scabs feast on the dying. We are helpless against him. We're losing one in five vessels departing from Rathia. Good sailors gone. Vital supplies sent to the depths. This must end now. Hard to it. You will have to. Truly. I must admit I did not anticipate this development. Here is your payment. It is made in good faith. Once you've made your preparations, report to Captain Rask Brattigan in the Keys. She will be your escort. Rast is a good and loyal companion, and a competent sailor, despite what they say. May Lyria protect you, and may her breath ever be at your back. Good luck. Trust Rast. Oh, I did it. What I love about this game, there's no friendly fire until you, I press up on the D-pad, which I'm not gonna do now. I can just like swing my weapons around and do whatever I can do and well, magic and so I. I won't kill anybody because you know the friendly thing is off. If I turn that off, then I can kill everyone in the bar. Ten years. Which I don't really feel like doing. These boxes usually contain money. Sometimes. Say, Captain. Don't bother me. I'm waiting for a passenger, some suicidal idiot. Can't be caught chatting. I want to make a good impression. I'm your passenger. Well, tie me up and drag me under. So you're the one the Navy's hooked into finding Gallows End and killing Dead Kell. It's suicide. Really. Ask the others. Oh, wait. You can't. But don't worry about them. Like my mother said, don't weep for the fallen. Even if they could hear you, they wouldn't care. What others? You know, the other applicants. Dead. All of them. All of the ones they found, that is. Plenty of others just vanished. One poor fellow was found cut into teeny tiny pieces. They needed a bucket to pull all of him from the surf. Don't you worry, we'll have a fine voyage. Tell me about Dead Kell. He's the worst of the worst. A villain who truly enjoys the pain he inflicts. He's a slippery one, though. Not even death can catch Dead Kell. I'd love to be the one to bring him in. Maybe then I'd finally get some respect. What is Gallows End? 
It is the mysterious island fortress of dead Kel and his crew. Why? Do you know how to get there? Because I have no idea. I was hoping to figure it out as we go, but I'm starting to wonder if that's a good idea. Of course you have morale choices. You can be the nice guy and say you're brave, and you can be the asshole that says you're a fool, you're dumb, whatever, you go fuck all, whatever. Of course there's no, you know, swear words. Of course I'm always the good guy, so you're brave. Flattery will get you nowhere, unless I've had too much to drink. Then I'm afraid to say it'll get you all sorts of strange places. I shall not elaborate. Tari and I are ready when you are. Do I need anything? Only what you want with you in case of an emergency. There aren't many merchants where we're headed. Who is Tari? He's the fine first mate on the ground next to me. Words aren't his strength, although I'd be pressed to say what is exactly. I found him after I was forced to maroon my last first mate on a desert island. That man became obsessed with me, probably because we had sex. <laughs> a lot. Well, oh, kind of. You know, I guess there's some adultery in, in, in games always. <laughs> you know where, 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 you know where you're going? Seeing as I don't believe in navigation, I'd have to say no. Not the moment. Not to worry. Once you've wrecked enough ships, you get the hang of it. <laughs> Ugh, I'm ready. If you're ready to depart, my vessel awaits. You'll find her both swift and seaworthy. Just don't go down into the hold. There's a leak down there. It's big. <laughs> I'm predicting an uneventful voyage. We might even get bored. Off we go then. Off we go, then. Trust no one. Except me, of course. Okay. Now, hear the tale of the Pirate King, who cut a blood-red wake. From dark Rathia to frustrating sea, and dead Kel was his name. With hanged men crew and bow white flag, he sailed from Gallows End. No solace for a sailor true when Dead Cole's ship came in. Ship didn't last long. Eh? <sighs> wow! I did not foresee such a horrendous disaster. Too bad. Are you well? Everything in its right place? Most of the others were killed. It wasn't quick. I heard their cries in the fog, but I couldn't do a thing. What happened? Dead Kel. One moment there was nothing but open sea before us, and the next there he was. It didn't take much to sink the calamity. That poor ship was asking for mercy, and Dead Kel granted her wish. Where are we? Welcome to Gallows End, my friend. At least I think that's where we ended up. I hope you like surprises. <laughs> Alright then. You killed your crew. No one is sorrier than I am. Those men and women were my family. Travelling as I do, there aren't many opportunities for closeness. I found that on the Calamity. Found it, and lost it. Good thing Tari is still with me. Well, mostly. What happened to Tari? Not sure, exactly. But he's bleeding like a gutted fish. We're going to need to reach shore if we want to fetch help. We'll have to come back for him. I wish there was another way.
Is the ship ruined? Gone, Lyria, bless her. Like Mother always said, never love anything, because all things end up dead. A wise woman, my mother. And very, very sad. The hull drifted off into an eastern cove, where it sank away completely. Only bubbles remain. <laughs> it's just you and me now. And a more capable team, I can't imagine. It appears our best path to the mainland is through a nearby cavern, but it seems to be flooded and blocked by debris. I do carry some old cobalt explosives in my pack, but I've never used one before. Well, not successfully. <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we dead? We haven't even left yet, dude. Oh. Oh, you can loot, and then the game can loot. What's this? It sucks. find hidden treasures. Usually on the minimap that's not there, but I like the bird that allows me to see them. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I don't want to use po potions. Never use potions. Except for magic and health restore. So yeah, this game is uh, quite fun, with lots of enemies I hate. You might probably hear me a lot of button smashing, because me and timing on weapons, I, I cannot do it. <laughs> to see whether or not these explosives are worth the price I paid for them. Hook. Stop, I don't need. Sometimes books are useful for like lures and. Is that a fish? It's probably the first fish I've seen in the entire game. Maybe. I think I might have seen before. I don't know. Lost. You stop standing in my way, woman. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't remember that. Skeleton attacks random, like, I don't know why, but he always attacks these little, like, crabs for no reason at all. <laughs> he just does not like crabs, I guess. Maybe he died by crabs once. He was like, I don't care about these crabs, they killed me. <laughs> They're like harmless, but they killed me. 
They do give crafting supplies, which is I'm going to explode this next wall. Useful. Keep your distance. Chin up. Pretty good damage. Interesting. So I guess the games do I'm lost. So I guess the game this DLC does come come up to my level. Even though all the equipment seem like it sucks. <laughs> but the damage is, seems all pretty good. Jabbering jellyfish! I'm out of explosives! And we're so close, I can hear the waves on the sand. One of us is going to need to find some way to get us through this wall. And by someone, I mean you. You see, I don't swim. Or did I fail to mention that? <laughs> Anything that can get us through this wall, be creative. Be creative! I you, but I can't swim. <laughs> Let's go! Let's be creative! I'd rather not be creative. <laughs> it always seems to end up in a lot of blood. Fish and guts. Great. So I guess I have to jump into the water. A shell? Is that a giant like slug shell? What the fuck, dude? They're like skeletons and like things like that where you just, like look at it and you're like seriously thinking how big were the monsters in this game? Man. <laughs> I wanna see what's in this thing over here. Look at that. Look at that shell. So huge. Could be a tree root, to be honest. I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm not sure about anything in this game. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. That was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. Wait. Treasure! The gem I just picked up, I usually use for uh, infusing my weapons to make them give special abilities, to make them stronger and such. Pretty useful. Now let me guess, 
this. I have to go all the way around now, don't I? Yes, I do. <laughs> Wait. If I knew that, I would have wasted that time. It looked like there was a tunnel, so I thought, you know, maybe I'll have to go into the tunnel. Nope. those books for a second. I don't really read them. I'm just hoping for some uh, specialties. You know. Because they get lore or something for for the for this area. I'm just hoping for like a skill book or something, you know. Those are always useful. Casca betrayed me, though the girl wanted that foolish cult destroyed. Does this come from this quest? What's the food? I don't know, some of these might like be older stuff that I haven't looked at it yet. See, these gems they give like armor and fire damage and all that. It's pretty useful if you are uh, into crafting. These are my repair kits. The flute. It doesn't do anything anymore. So yeah, just basic stuff for me anyway. This is what I made myself. The scorching ice sacrums, sh sacrums. Even though that one seems better, because with all the stuff I added to this one, it actually makes it better. <laughs> so it gives me plus health, plus mana, physical damage, stun duration, ice damage, fire damage, and yes, it both works. It does do fire and ice damage at the same time. So uh, yeah, that is one to junk. Great sword, look at that. I usually just carry this one around because it gives me health. 10% chance to deal, steal 25 health per hit. It's pretty useful sometimes. Even though I don't really use hammers or great swords anymore. Still, I keep them around just in case. In case I ever need them. In case an enemy is too strong or whatever. Uh, some Smell that? Fresh air. We're close. It's time for yeah. I can get some fresh air. I'm going to get over here. Let me see what's over here. 
another chill mood thing. Name. I usually try to keep the purple and green, purple, blue, and green stuff because I can break those down and get more components, more and stronger components than uh, the green stuff and the white stuff. So technically, I destroy the green stuff as well. And gold or yellow is always good to sell. Too much up there. I was hoping for a chest. Actually. Ah, sunlight at last. Yes, let's go find your light. to say anything in the cavern, but I was betting against us. In the words of my dear departed mother, always prepare for the worst, for it'll probably happen. There looks to be a settlement on the beach. Come, let's see who's at home. Ready when you are? Mother grieves. You died alone. But Akaro will never abandon you. He's your family now. Akaro watch, watches over you, dear Aslov. The death, in death, the pirate can no longer touch you. You are in my prayer. Killed by death, Kel. Lost to us in body, but with us forever in spirit. Okay. You may be welcome into. I don't think I've ever heard of a Kara. I wonder if a Kara is. A Kara's heart will not be forgotten. Kill with a cow. Walk the gallows, he did. Mad in the head, he was. Blame the pirate king. He's a pirate king. That cow is a pirate king. Alrighty then. Oh. Kara blesses us with another lost soul. Welcome, stranger. I am Alder Malloy, and you've arrived at Cape Solace just in time. Tell me, how have you come to find yourself upon our shore? Yeah, I'm more interested in who is Akara. Akara is the reason I am here. The reason all of us on this island are here. And maybe, my friend. And it's why you are here as well. Kara is this island and everything upon it. What is the Cape Solace? It is a village established by those of us whose fates have brought us to Gallows End. 
Sailors and settlers, foreigners and families, but castaways all. We have made a life here on these beaches and in this village. We're here for Dirt Kel. Ah, so you're here for the oppressor, he who was cast down. You're not the first to arrive on these shores in search of him. You will not be the last. But Akara's magic protects us here in Cape Solace. We are safe from Dead Kel's deathless touch. The same cannot be said for those who venture past the boundaries of the village, near the keep and the surrounding forest. You know Dead Kel? Dead Kel was the favorite son of Akara. He was given great gifts from our protector, only to squander them in the pursuit of power. We are blessed not to fear him. So many others live at his mercy, but not those of us here on the safety of the beaches. Akara protects the faithful. What's in the keep? Why, it is the great fortress that looms in the north. Grave Hall, as it was named by the Deverga craftsmen who raised its mighty walls. But the Deverga have long since abandoned the island, leaving their great keep empty. Some in the village, like Paddy, are intrigued by the keep's dark courts and corridors. But I would avoid it. Grave Hall is haunted. Why are we safe here? The villain dead Kel rules much of this island, and he strives tirelessly to control every last inch. Akara will not let this happen. We are protected in this spot alone, just south of the river and along the coast. The Fallen One has no power here, and it enrages him. I'll help how I can. Then you will fit in well. But keeping the village strong is truly a group undertaking. We get by with Akara's blessing and providence, of course. You may stay with us for as long as you wish. But might I suggest that you find a way to make yourself useful? We all must do our part. Well, I don't know about you, but all of this talk about Akara is unsettling. I'm going to ask around about ways to get off the island, since I'm almost certain we're not going to want to stay. Don't go far. I've been in some strange places, but this place tops them all. I hope you don't plan on settling down. How will we get back? We'll have to secure another vessel, but from the looks of the village, they don't often venture past the reef. In the meantime, I'll ask you to scour the beaches for survivors of our wreck. I fear that we may be all that's left of the Calamity. Such a possibility has left me agitated. I try not to worry. Anxiety doesn't agree with me. I throw up. <laughs> there may be more survivors. I did not see my bosun Thora among the dead, or his wife Asa. There's a chance they have evaded death's grip and still count among the living. Mark my words, if even one of them survives, I will fight to the Earth's edge to find them. I'll bring them back. That's the spirit. I knew taking you on board was the right idea. That fortune teller didn't know what she was talking about. I will stay here and speak to Alder about a boat, and I'll have them send men to fetch Tari from the sandbar. I'll have dead Kel's head if it's the last thing I do. Keep your boots dry. Alrighty then. Some treasure over here. Protestant treasure. It's in a box. Treasure filled with rock shit. It's dumb. <laughs> Nothing else over here. The view. I suppose. Guessing that's a prison over here. Yeah, that's a prison. Pretty sure it's a prison. No. You guys not talk? Are you like stoned? 
made out of wood? You look like you're made out of wood. They're breathing. Are they like wood? Living wood? I don't know. <laughs> Not much of enemies over there. Let's go see if there are some quests around here. I can see one. From you? Oh, it's a glow. Look what the reef brought ashore this time. I am Padrig Dower. My friends call me Paddy, but I have few of those here in the village. I assume dear Alder's given you the welcome speech? Poor foolish man. It's getting crowded down here, you know. Pity we can't move, some of us at least, up to the keep on the hill. Well, this gravel holes keep. Thing of beauty, isn't it? Nothing like the great city of Edessa, of course, but just as breathtaking. Please excuse my enthusiasm. I am, well, uh, I was an architect back in the world. If you want a nicer place to live, and you aren't afraid of spirits, I can help you get that key. Interested? Do you think it's haunted? It's not haunted. Cursed, maybe, but not haunted. Gates locked and it's crawling with those damn scabs. And something else inside that's loud as hell. Every so often, someone gets an idea to sneak in. Most don't get as far as the door, and those who do never come back. How do you know all this? I've gotten as far as the top of the wall to have a peek inside. It wasn't easy, but I had a good enough look to know I'd better climb right back down and think of something else. Everything else, I know from the dream. What dream? Last night. I dreamt of the keep as it once was, several stories tall and so beautiful, it made me cry. When I awoke, I was clutching this key in my hand. I don't put much stock in a Kara, but I do know a sign when I see one. There was more, but I can't recall it clearly. Perhaps it'll come back to me when we get inside. Will you come? Shh, we. Yes, we. I'm going with you. I'm not much good in a fight, but I can remember enough of what I saw in the dream to know where to go. So, you want to help me or not? Sure. Fantastic! Let me know when you're ready to go, and we'll be off. Let's go. Come on, then. I'll lead the way, but stay close. Alder's God doesn't protect us outside Cape Solace. Goodbye. I'm gonna do this quest first, because I feel like it. Just like Skyrim, I'll probably sidetrack a lot from Nearly the there. quest. How big is the map, anyway? Hmm. Yeah, can't see the map, so I do not know. What did I tell you? Magnificent. Bit worse for wear after a couple centuries, but nothing I couldn't fix. Let's see if this key still works. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I guess the key worked because it disappeared. <laughs> hey, you nasty. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
This keep is not haunted. It is overrun. Monsters, not phantoms, inhabit its dark hallways. We should move along. You're ready then. Goodbye. Goodbye. They say that a lot. A lot of characters say it like that. Goodbye. Ciao, ciao. See you later. A goodbye. <laughs> well, let's go. Goodbye. <laughs> Skeletons everywhere. back the beasts. You've braved the shadows. You've earned the right to claim the seat. The seat? Sit upon the throne. You are the rightful ruler of Grave Hall now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what do I have to sit on the seat? Hello. What do you sit on the seat? God damn it. I have a feeling something's gonna go wrong. With my daggers. This is remarkable! You've done it! For years, the villagers of Cape Solace have been too craven to enter this great hall. And here you are, freshly washed ashore, and you march right in and take it! <laughs> Haunted? Never. Just a few small beasts. Nothing you couldn't handle. God damn it, I knew it. <laughs> Wisest most and most influent warriors are called to, to rule upon the throne, and now you can count yourself among them, claiming your legacy as master of Gravehall Keep. Alrighty then. Guess the keep had one more surprise left for us, but now the keep is yours. You're the first master of the keep in nearly 500 years, if you're willing to believe all the legends. Let me be the first to offer you my services, my liege. How can we restore Grave Keep? My liege, I am glad you asked. I've been ruminating over this beautiful structure, devising plans for its improvement. I'll start by restoring the keep inside and out, but I also feel the need for a beast pen in the courtyard. I could easily add that at the same time. I just need you to get me two bundles of beach stone, three bundles of ember wood, and three bundles of sailcloth. Where the hell do I find that shit, man? Beast pen. Yes, it will allow us to take full advantage of the island's diverse variety of beasts. Of course, we'll soon need to find a suitable beast master to run it. I think I might know just the man, but we'll get to that later. Alright. What's the keep's condition? The centuries have been 
surprisingly kind to this place. The forest should have reclaimed it ages ago. Worst part is all the scav droppings, but that's just dirty work. <laughs> I believe much of the rubble is what remains of the side buildings and upper floors I saw in my dream, but I'm not certain yet. Alright then, I'll get what you need, I suppose. You should be able to find enough to salvage at Scuttle Beach. I've marked a few locations for you to search on your map. I'll get to work as soon as you're back. Bye. Bye. Uh, don't need that. Mm, don't want that. That. Don't want that. Alrighty then. That was interesting. It's probably one of those ongoing missions again. power you just saw that's my special ability power i only use that when you know when one of those things show up or when there's a giant troll that i can't defeat right away or usually i wait until an actual boss battle because that's usually where you have to get them where you use it i suppose <laughs> so i guess that kind of sums up what the game was about you get to fight stuff get to do quests just like any MMO and uh, get special powers get a lot of armor and weapons and all that stuff anyway I think I've got to quit for now so this is kind of a sum up of what the game is about I, I was gonna do it until I can use my powers so I did use the, the special powers and now you know I might use that a few times if you like it, leave a like. If you don't like it, then, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to keep uploading this anyway. This, these are my uploads for Wednesday. So, Monday it's Major Minor. Tuesday is Challenge Tuesdays. Wednesdays it's going to be this. And Thursdays it will be Star... Not Star Wars. Transformers. It's going to be a Transformer Games or two. Uh, Transformer Games I wanted to play. That I'm trying to work on right now. So that's going to be on Thursdays and Fridays there is a series that I pre-recorded before summer still and uh, I'm going to be uploading that on Fridays and then Saturday and Sunday well I don't know just some random stuff I still have I suppose in this line anyway again I'm probably going to make an update a full update so it's not at the end of this video, but I'm gonna make a full update at some point next week, probably. Till then, uh, you guys, again, you will hear it see me later in the next couple of videos. So, good loo and stuff. Bye.